Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with my iron situation. What I am going to do for the time being, though, is I'm going to grab a few more of these uh, storage chests. And I'm going to put them down in the, the central, well, my, my central hub location at this side of the of the bus. What I want to do is I want to get a good uh, just a looks like four in between. That looks good. Don't want this in anymore. And what I want to do is I'm going to put down another two two? Yeah, because that's six wide. I'm going to put down another two rubble ports side by side right here there we go and then on the on the top of these will be another three here and three no oh, no three there well four I guess they're four wide actually so the purpose of this is this is kind of the centralized location of my bus and a lot of my storage is is here. A lot of coal was stored here. I'm trying to encourage the network to congregate everything here. So what I'm uh, what these provide are more power uh, stations for the robots. So the idea is that a lot of robots are going to be traveling back and forth. They may have to power up here. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Who knows? Um, but if they definitely drop off here and pick up from here, they're going to power up, usually. And since I also am going to do a lot of... Whoop, hold on, let me go back. Let me think about this. So I've got these three here. Do I have another rubble port that's close? Let's see where they go. Yeah, i got another rubble port here. So let's, put, let's drop another rubble port here. Just right next to this one. And it is indeed powered. And this one will power up anything that's dropping off here that isn't going somewhere else. Then on the other end, near my train station, I'm going to put two more robo ports. And the thing about these robo ports, you notice that they're not at max perfect orientation to the rest of the network. These, these are providing just more spaces, more power. They have nothing to do with coverage at all. Yeah, this is here to provide coverage. But everything that comes up here goes to this RoboPort, which is providing coverage. That's fine. Um, but see how they have to come back up here to, to power up? What object is being... How did a worker bot, a construction bot, get damaged? I got to do something about that. Let's, let's get this taken care of. So let's put just on the north side of this power and south side of oh, that power. So now we have more power options for the robots here. Now here is a good question. Do I want to put some storage chests here? Oh, I hate you so much right now. Really? You're going to make me do this, huh? Fine. There. I hope you're happy, Logistics Network. And I'm actually going to change these up. Yeah, I'm making those by hand. I don't know why, but... Let's see what happens if I make these active providers. They're going to go off somewhere else. Hmm. Well, eventually I want these to be active providers, so for the time being, yeah, I'm going to swap these out from the, the passive providers. 
to the actives. And let's seed these with iron. Yeah, look at look at the the power the power usage that we've got out of these robots powering up here. Yeah, this was a good decision to have these closer here. So yeah, all these logistics robots are going to come out. Yeah, they're they're emptying these. The hope is that eventually some of them will path to these chests and they'll just ferry it back and forth really quickly. And then the logistics robots will actually pull out of these chests later on. Or they may just keep running over there. I don't know. I don't care. What do we want to do with that base? Here I thought the logistics robots could catch up to me with, with that, uh, that speed. I guess they can't. It looks like a lot of them are powering up right here. There's quite a few. So what if we... Do I have one more RoboPort in here? No, I don't. If I put another RoboPort here, that would provide more power in the central of the base, but... I'm just going to leave that be for the time being. Yeah, I have more also powering up over here. This is good enough for now. Remember, good enough, not perfect. Oh, ha. Huh. My steel pick died. Finally. Looks like we're having power problems again. Yeah, we are. But we're basically making it through the night completely, so I'm okay with that. Okay. You alien beasts. Oh, look at those two bases. That's why I'm getting hammered up here. Yeah, that's... And I bet you this is why the construction robots and such are, are getting uh, slaughtered. Because they, they path out across here. You little rat nublets. Well, let's get to getting... I need to solve this iron problem in a more permanent way. So where are our blueprints? For the time being, let's get this a wall just across. Lost my wall blueprint there. Actually, this is the perfect length. find a way through these trees. Okay, there's a way through these trees. Get rid of the trees. <laughs> there we go. And let's just make a turn here. And 
And now we have to make a gun pass. Where are my... There we go. Ooh, this is bad. If they attack over here, these walls and guns will not be repaired. Well, for the time being, let's just get the, the guns up. We'll worry about getting RoboPort coverage up here later. Probably won't take too much to get complete coverage. Yeah, this is just a slaughter fest over here. So let's actually change this up a bit. And on the back of these guns, I'll put more lasers. Oh, I'm out of lasers. I don't need those anymore. Well, that should be okay for the time being. That's a huge, huge attack. In fact, what I'm going to do... There's my walls. What I'm going to do is get more more bullets, more damage. And these walls are going to be doubled up now. You're going to have to chew through two walls, misters. Am I getting any attacks over here? Yeah, minimal attacks over here, so we'll just double up all the way to about there. And then starting about right here, we'll triple up. Like so. We'll double up at least past this gun emplacement here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, our power's dropping again. We have 90 steam engines. We just need more engines, it looks like. I was hoping that, that we would see... Oh, here it comes. Yep. Okay. And on top of that, you are no longer going to request yellow bullets. Time to upgrade these these guys up to red bullets. There we go. 15 bullets for you. And let's get you over to red bullets and 15. There we go.
So the ammo that's in there now, no, eh, no, let's let's clear the guns. There we go. Because these aliens are probably... Yeah, I can't get the statistic on them, but the aliens are probably to the point where they have armor, and so the the yellow armor uh, ammo is not going to do quite a lot. In the meantime, we need to clear out bunches of junk. Look how fast that gets cleared out with my uh, personal robo ports. Let's just get all of this cleared out. Yeah, the robot. Well, these robots at least can catch up. Let's punch a hole through here. And we need robo ports. Let's get another five. Yeah, those turrets over there are engaged, but now we're not getting any damage on the turrets themselves like we were before. So let's extend our robo port coverage all the way up to here. Oh, excuse me. That came out kind of you. Well, one of my RoboPort, uh, RoboPorts is kind of out of alignment. This is fine. Are you... Okay, now we can get charging here. And please just get rid of all of this. I know I don't have anything worth keeping in there. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Remember at the beginning of the game when it took me forever to clear the, that, that first iron patch? Pepperidge Farms remembers. I think I've done that joke before. Okay, our next robo port. Can go there. And the next one is over here somewhere. No, not a medium large. And in fact, let's just get rid of all of this because I know somewhere in here is where the next the next rebel port is going to have to go. Ah, oh, right in the middle. So let's get it as close as possible. And let's just put it right there. And I don't need these here anymore. This gives us more 
space for our solar array, if nothing else. I don't need that either. Nor that light. Okay, where was I going to punch through the iron? Wasn't it right here that I said I could do it? Yeah, right here is where I wanted to punch through the iron. So I need one more RoboPort. Right here. Not a medium. Large. There. With a light. And here we are in the low power again. I'm working on it. The whole reason I'm not popping down more solar panels is because the iron feeds in uh, into the green circuits and into the uh, what am I thinking of here? The, it, it feeds into the green circuits. It also feeds into the steel. And the solar panels need steel to be made. So it makes no sense to uh, put down more solar panels until I get my steel production taken care of, which means I need to take uh, get the iron working. And also, if I can stop using robots to ferry all the way across, then that is a, a huge reduction in power as well. So let's get rid of this rock. Let's get rid of the walls all the way down through here. Don't need this power. Don't need this anymore. Don't need that. Heck, I'm, w I'm well past all of this. I don't need any of this anymore either. Yeah, I don't need any of this. All that time it took to build this up and here I'm just tearing it down like nothing. Whoops. I do, however, need... <laughs> power connection to that RoboPort. Ah, yes, look. Take a look. There they are. They're all stored in here. Nice. In fact, let's make sure that we've got more storage here. Okay. Take a drink. We now need to get our iron all the way across. Fortunately, I happen to have a blueprint just for that. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run this backwards. Since this wall is far enough north, I can actually fit it straight across here. So, let's go, let's just bring it to here first. And what I'm going to do is like this. There we go. There's our bend. There's our... Oh, I made it just far enough. There we go. Keep building. A 
Catapult Shooting 3 Speed is done. That's nice. So we're all up to purple science on pretty much all of that. Now I got more bullet shooting speed. There we go. And let's do that. That's going to take a while to create. I'm actually making some by hand just to help out. <laughs> Look at them gears. get all of these lined up properly. There. There's our second bend. Now we need to have this run north. And I actually want to have this for the time being, right in the middle. There we go. I get to make more by hand to help out again. Come on, you little things. There we go. Okay, we need a little bit more over here. But, now... We are golden. So now what I'm going to do... I need... Let's just do fast inserters for now. This one can come over like this. This one can go here. And this one can go there. And now I'm going to change these up again to request your chests. That's probably not the ideal. Let's get more stack inserters. In fact, let me get two more requester chests. One more. Mm. Do have some stack inserters. Okay, stack inserters there and there. Blue inserters here and here. And actually what I want to do is let's get let's just get all of this And we 
where's my other no this one needs to go there and these need to go like no like this there and that can go there Run that out to there. Except this can bend in here. And I can bend in there. Is this really backed up? Why? What am I missing? I can't be backed. Oh, because it's still building all the way over here. Look at that. Okay. Well, this is going to take a little bit longer than I expected. I was hoping to get this done before I had to put a cut in, but I can't, so I'm putting a cut in here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and uh, have fun!